There's loads of talk about Christian Eriksen's move to Inter Milan, so it's a great time to take a look how he's evolved tactically as a player and how he could fit in at Inter Nazionale Inter Milan. We're rapidly heading to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so please join in and hit subscribe if you haven't already and help us to get there. Christian Eriksen came through the Ajax Academy and we've got the starting 11 on screen right now where he scored his first Champions League goal. For Ajax, Christian Eriksen played a number of roles. He played wide, he played centrally, but more than not played in central midfield. Christian Eriksen in this lineup would look to get into the attacking midfield zone and control the tempo. Remember a good game against Manchester United at Old Trafford where he played in midfield with actually Semi Diong, who uh, you know in this lineup is a striker. They played together at Ajax in terms of their setup, their build-up. Semi Diong played a bit more of a number eight, and Eriksen, of course, in that final third, playing those lovely chip balls over the top. But of course, Eriksen coming through at Ajax, technically you can see the coaching and the philosophy of the setup, but good off. Both feet, technically excellent, off his left, off his right, can shoot from range, can pass with either foot, and very, very creative, a classic Ajax player. There were rumours about him joining the Premier League with either Liverpool or Tottenham. Obviously, he joined Spurs in August 2013 for a reported £11 million fee under AVB, Andre Villas Boas. It was a turbulent first season in England for Ericsson, where Spurs boss AVB got sacked in December and appointing Tim Sherwood to take over and then sacking him at the end of the season. The manager who defined Ericsson's time in England was Maurizio Pochettino. So let's take a look at how he used the day in his time at the club. Ericsson's best season in terms of goals was in the 17-18 campaign where he scored 14 goals, including a massively big strike at Stamford Bridge in their 3-1 win over Chelsea. If we look at the side that day, we can start to build Ericsson out tactically. So of course, this team was without Harry Kane that day. Human Son was used um, in a bit of a you know striking position, but if we bring Harry Kane in and we can talk about tactically how Spurs would set up with the front four players. In terms of the interesting side of when Ericsson came to the Premier League, we knew he was a creative player, but very inconsistent. The interesting stats when under Pochettino, Ericsson would frequently have the most distance covered per game for Tottenham and in fact finished a number of the seasons as covering the most distance out of their squad in the Premier League and even top the list one year. But as a player, in terms of the best Ericsson for me is when he played as an advanced playmaker on the right wing. The interesting side with Spurs' formation and attacking sense, Son would play more of a winger operating quite wide on the flank. Kane would drop off, uh, you know, linking the play, uh, dropping off the line, combining. Deli Alli would make those forward runs into the box. What this meant for Christian Eriksen is the space really opened up for him to operate in that central area. There'd be space for Trippier to drive through on the overlap, and Eriksen would play as a playmaker from that right-hand side. In terms of assists, he's got the 18th most in Premier League history, but also has got 10 plus assists in four consecutive seasons, which is a record with David Beckham. He's also got the most assists since joining the Premier League, but is a danger from range, the most free kicks scored as well since joining the club. But that was the interesting side there. There'd be a lot of rotation in the team. You could see, uh, you know, if uh, Pochettino wanted to move things around, you'd uh, have Ericsson starting in that central area, Human Son potentially on the right-hand side, Ali on the left-hand side, Ali on the left-hand side, Ali on the left-hand side. It was really fluid. If Tottenham switched to a back three, Ericsson would be one of the number 10s behind Harry Kane. Frequently, you'd see uh, Kane as a cent the centre forward, Ali and Ericsson really narrow behind him, in that final third area. But Ericsson, a top quality playmaker. Moving on to Inter Milan, how will Antonio Conte use Ericsson in Milan? On screen right now, we've got the Inter Milan 11 uh, with most minutes played, plus new signing Ashley Young. We're going to move a few players around. Of course, uh, Diego Godin is probably going to be first choice uh, in the 11. Um, you're thinking he'll definitely be in there when fit. But also someone like um, Asamoa playing left wing back could be quite interesting. The midfield has been really good for Conte's Inter. Uh, Brozovic, you know, being the guy that's dropping deep to get on the ball. You've got Sensi getting into the final third. Umbrella playing as a very, uh, you know, sort of lateral player looking to get to those wide areas with it you know built on a front two the 3-5-2 so how will Ericsson get into this side because at the moment they've looked really good the combination between Lukaku and Martinez up front a really deadly strike force given the sort of creativity of Ashley Young in there right now you're getting a really good uh, Inter Milan team that's very workman line so where will Ericsson fit in in this Inter Nazionale side well one of the options could be a change of system for Conte 
could see a move to maybe a, a one-man strike force with Christian Eriksen potentially operating one of the, the wide areas. We mentioned before, Eriksen really good playing off the right wing. Sensi and Brozovic in defensive midfield. Bit of a 3-4-3, the classic system that won Chelsea the Premier League that Conte knows and loves. With Eriksen, you've got his ability to drift into number 10. Barella as well likes to drive into that central area. We saw a really good goal in the uh, first half of the Serie A season where he cut inside, cracked a shot from range just before he got injured. So that could be a threat. There's a lot of work in there. Barella, Eriksen, very you know, hard-working players. Alternatively, if uh, you know Conte wants to retain that, wants to retain the, the front two, could see the likes of uh, Barella go out there and you know go back to that 3-5-2 shape. Uh, Brozovic holding in midfield, Sensi and Eriksen in that central area. That could be quite interesting. Two arguably free eights in the final third, getting in between the lines. Sensi is a lovely, lovely little footballer. Very dynamic, good at creating ch chances, good at moving around. The interesting side though for Eriksen since the 2015-16 season is chance creation per game has dropped on year by year. First below uh, three in the 17-18 campaign. Then this season, he's dropped below two. So we'll need to get those creative boots absolutely flowing if he's to succeed in Serie A. But I think that could be an interesting lineup there. The 3-5-2, Eriksen, Brozovic and Sensi in midfield. That will give them a lot of dynamic ability to drive forward. Alternatively, if uh, you know you want to throw in a bit of a Barella in there, if maybe Lukaku uh, hasn't isn't fit, you could play him uh, behind. You could maybe drop it to this 3-6-1 uh, shape with Barella in midfield with Sensi and a diamond. Eriksen at the tip creating a lot of chances for Martinez. There's a lot of interesting variations that could be here, but I think if we're going to see him in the side, what I think would go with Lukaku would be through the middle, Eriksen maybe from the right, Barella from the left, and a midfield two. The 3-4-3 back in Italy with Antonio Conte is exactly where Christian Eriksen could play for Internazionale. If though Alexis Sanchez got a run of games, he could come in for Barella, then it'd be this 3-4-2-1 uh, shape. Eriksen and Sanchez and Lukaku, a Premier League trident destroying Syria, ripping them apart. Could be really interesting to see the combination play, uh, the runs of Sanchez, the passes from Eriksen, of course Lukaku, scoring all of the goals. Well, that's how I think Christian Eriksen will line up at Inter Milan. I've been Statman Dave, of course. Find me on YouTube, at Statman Dave. But also, we're closing in 100,000 subscribers at Squawker, so make sure to smash that subscribe button and get us over that milestone. But anyway, till next time, see you later.